Russia's defense ministry has refuted reports that its landing crafts are heading to Syria. This as media coverage said that a Russian ship believed to be carrying helicopters for the conflict-torn country has been stopped in its tracks off the coast of Scotland. RT's Alexey Arashevsky has details. A Russian ship uh, bound for, uh, allegedly bound for Syria named Aluyet was stopped at the coast of Scotland by the request of the British government. Its insurance was cancelled and despite that this has not been confirmed nor by the Russian Defence Ministry nor by anyone else, uh, the Western media have already came up with allegations and headlines that this ship was carrying helicopters to Syria to uh, aid Assad's regime in the conflict zone. Now definitely uh, this uh, is not the first time that the Western media has come up with uh, such allegations because We've heard about two Russian ships uh, of the Black Sea Fleet which uh, are ready to sail towards Syria. Now, uh, CNN and NBC and many other stations came up with, uh, with their reports uh, last week, believing that these ships were already on their way to Syria and uh, thus uh, creating uh, many concerns uh, in the West, especially that uh, Russia would be aiding uh, Assad's regime in uh, the conflict. Now, Russia has been firmly denying all such accusations, saying that it's not been taking any sides and that uh, the fact that those two ships will be probably sailing to Syria uh, it's only to protect the Russian base in the town of Tartus the only one of the only Russian bases remaining uh, in that region which is has a very uh, serious strategic importance for Moscow the Western media again uh, especially in the US made a huge story out of it that Russia is supplying Assad's regime with uh, weaponry but it's uh, as I've said not the first time we just heard another story that uh, some media reported that a military military exercise involving Iran, Syria, China uh, will be held somewhere in Syria in, in the next uh, couple of weeks. Uh, the, these reports were also uh, turned into a mass hysteria by the media saying that Russia is playing a dangerous game in the Syrian backyard. But this also has already been denounced by the Russian Defense Ministry, which said that no such games are possible in a conflict zone, which Syria certainly is at the moment. So this is definitely an all-out information war, not something we are completely not used to. Uh, we just have to wait and see uh, what other stories and what other sensations will the Western media produce. As I've said, Russia has been denying any involvement in supplying Assad's regime with weaponry and firmly stands on its position that it's not taking any sides and that it's not doing anything wrong from the international point of view.